You guys know Jason Silva? He's very excited about there being no God, in his opinion, and about how cool science and your consciousness are. He likes all the science heroes. If you've watched him speak in a video, he taught like he's very convincing in a way because he's so enthusiastic about the God-free world that he believes we live in. Think you, you can't be fooled, right? But seriously, here's a problem in the world. People don't think they can be fooled on a massive level about reality. God says in the Bible how the world was created and what the world is. And it is not a space rocket ball rotating around the sun at ridiculous speeds, way out in vast, never-ending, still-expanding outer space. There's no universe in the Bible. There's the firmament above us, waters above that, and the heavens above that. God and Jesus Christ, our Lord, are above us, literally. One of the ways they want to deceive people is having them think, there's no God out there. Surely we just big banged from nothing and created everything. Everything just has an order. No, no creator behind the creation. So he's a deceiver. He posts this about science and the soul. There just so happens to be the all-seeing eye. But never mind that. Don't research about it or anything. One of his one of his science heroes is Carl Sagan. Here's a riff on the Baphomet. Hail Sagan, not Satan. Hail Sagan, and he's doing the as above, so below. You know, like the Baphomet. For, for those of you that don't understand this, please actually research it. Don't be afraid of looking stupid in the eyes of the world. That's one of the ways people don't research. They feel like flat earth and God's creation. Why? That's, that's impossible. Science has proved this and that and the other. Yeah, this, this science that, come on. And there he is with the 666 on his hand. Not saying he's doing 666, but that's what this picture says. You know Buzz Aldrin, the guy that landed on the moon, supposedly? He's doing 666 over his eye. Let's not research this or look into anything. Illuminati, this is just a conspiracy theory. How dumb. Of course we landed on the moon. They couldn't lie about that, deceiving humanity. The theory of evolution, origin of the species, brought to you by this mere man who is doing the vow of silence. Outer space, 666 over the eye. Evolution in the Big Bang and the globe, vow of silence by a mere man. Or should we listen to God, how he created the world in the Bible? The Bible is not just a book of stories. It's God breathed, the Holy Spirit worked in the people who wrote those things. The Gospel of Jesus, the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, it is four disciples telling you, here's what God did for us. Choose to believe it and have faith and have salvation forever, or go with this guy doing the vow of silence and this guy doing 666 over his eye. The choice is yours. God bless you, everyone.